What's up? Hey, it's Ola behind these glasses. Hello. How are you guys doing? Welcome. Oh, same riff as last Sunday that I played after I played the song. You know, the song was actually a little bit longer than usual. I hope you have the patience to stay like 20 seconds longer in the intro to hear the rest of the f***ing Swola. Are people liking that that I'm even making these short like song, seg song segments in the beginning of the Swola? Or should I just ditch that? I don't know. I, n I never ask people. You know, maybe people don't care and they just want to see the news or the adventures and they, they don't care about the music. Anyways, welcome to Sunday with Ola 151. <laughs> welcome to Sunday with Ola 151. So glad that you guys are in here. Are there people in the premiere? If you are, then I love you. <gasps> Do I hear a pix outside? Let's open the door and find out. Oh, if I can... <laughs> ha I... Okay. Zero mistakes. Ah, that didn't work. Hey! There was a dog. Hey, yo. Yo, Evie. Yo. I'm just gonna fix this. Okay, look at this. This is... This is Ola. Recognize me? Hello. This is Ola. Yo, Yavi. Yavi. I know it's Ola. Oh, upside down. You know what makes me happy? You might have noticed that I have a, a fair bit of energy in me nowadays. You know why? Actually, I'm sort of out of breath. Oh, shit. There's a paradigm. There's a paradigm shift happening right now. You know, where the kids go to school and I get to work full time again. Oh my god, I've been longing for this moment for so long. Yo! And the dog is happy too. That's what's important. Yo, set the other. Oh shit! While on the talk about dogs, did you see this? This? Oh, sorry. This is our new venture with solo guitars. Look at this. This is the AB 1.6 Pyro guitar that we launched uh, this past Friday. It's an addition to the Chop Chop series. You know the, the Electrify guitar that we have? Well, this is another Chop Chop guitar that we have right here. And uh, it's available from sologuitars.com. It comes with a certificate, with a molded case and shit. Yeah, man, this has been burnt. You know, Pyro, baby, Pyro. Oh shit, look, it's the game of the year of 2021. Cuckold Simulator. What's up? All right, let's head into the news. In Soviet Russia, a guitar shreds you. Meet the torture eclipse. A uh, wasp inspired. We are Satan's. Uh, what is it? Pussies? <laughs> I don't remember what. We are son of penis? We, well, we are Satan's people. Yes, I, I remember now. Uh, inspired electric guitar that incorporates a rotating circular saw blade. Take a look at this. Holy crapperoni. Look at that. You know, Hutchinson. Incredible customization guy that has done one of my guitars. It, it's right outside. I can't grab it, but I can if I do this. Ha! 
Look at that. Mr. Hutchinson did this guitar for me, which is like a, you know, a Viking or uh, inspired type of stuff right there. Anyways, he has now made this uh, Les Paul right here with this f***ing saw blade on it. Let's take a look. Oh shit. Did he damage his hand? Oh shit. Dude, that looks dangerous as f right there, man. What? Why would you make it dangerous for yourself, man? He already hurt himself. Oh, it was a joke. All right. Anyways, why would you do that to yourself? It, it looks very dangerous. Anyway, I think uh, Hutchinson is doing some really cool shit with uh, his customization of guitars. Oh, do you want to go out now? Okay, I'm sorry. It's a lot of on and off with the microphone today. So there you go, that's the torture clip. Uh, uh, we are Satan's penis inspired electric guitar that incorporates a ro rotating circular saw blade. Uh, yes. All right, we need to check out the new Schecter Sunset Triad guitars. The whole world of guitar went completely bananas when we heard about the new Triad Schecter guitars. Why? Well, it's because it has a triple bucker. So as you can see, it has a single, but also it has a triple bucker right there. And everyone's like, what? What the fuck is this? Triple coil. Basically giving people more options when it comes to sound. Okay, how so? Let's look at the uh, switch settings right here. Okay. Uh, serial bridge. Okay. And then serial three. Okay. And then this, and then this, and then that. Okay, okay. So five different positions. I guess this section, the switch number one is more like a humbucker. And then you have the second uh, switch, which uh, utilizes all three coils right there. And I would imagine it's just adding more bass, basically. Because, you know, it's, it's further from the bridge. It's just going to add more low end, basically. The dog is back. <laughs> I, I think I might need a longer cable. All right, so that could be interesting hearing. I, at least they're doing something different. I like that. Eight ninety nine, not too bad for a guitar. I think the the kicker with this guitar is that it has this triple call, and the rest is basically uh, pretty bare bones. Uh, ebony, stainless steel frets, scrap tech, not uh, Schecter pickups, bolt on, Nayado body material. Yes. I'm wondering, like, when dogs are excited, they, they hump shit. You know, just like uh, Pixie's doing right here. She's about to hump that pillow to hell and back. What? Why aren't people doing this? Humans. When we're excited, just like I am right now, why don't we hump stuff? Watch Dimebag's longtime girlfriend Rita Haney join Pantera on stage in Houston. So, uh, Pantera is currently on tour. Or, or maybe they just stopped. But uh, it was Dimebag's birthday last Sunday. That's Randy Blythe right there. Holy shit. And there is Rita joining in on the action. What is he? What is Zach playing right there? Listen to that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> He's playing it backwards. Great. <laughs> Just shit. That's cool though. <laughs> you forgot that there's another chorus coming. Oh shit. That's cool though. So uh, last week I also talked about, uh, you know, Dean Zelensky has been uh, teasing a lot about a new stealth guitar. And I commented on this on the last uh, Sunday with Ola. And I was excited because it was a stealth. And it's also, I said like, oh, it's a freaking bolt-on. Well, uh, Dean, after you saw that video, he sent me a message saying, it's not a bolt-on, Ola. You stupid son of a bitch. No, he didn't say that, but you know, that's what I said about myself. Uh, no, it's actually a set neck. And then he sent me a video, but look at this. There it is. Laser etched snake skin right there. On uh, what I think is on a mahogany body, obviously. So maple top. And that's the set neck right there. Look at that maple neck. Little car right there. So, yeah, man, he's been teasing this a lot lately. And, uh, yeah, the headstock is there, man. It's a stealth headstock. You know, basically the, the Washburn headstock, which, uh, you know, I definitely don't mind. That's my favorite guitar. Take a look at... It's behind the drum kit. It's right there. But, yeah, man, that's the way to go. That's my favorite guitar right there. Please. Dibs. Thank you.
<laughs> All right, Death Clock, you know, the band of Metalocalypse are now streaming their new album, uh, the Death Album 4. First album in 11 years. After over a decade of waiting, the final Metalocalypse movie, Metalocalypse Army of the Doomstar, and the accompanying album, Death Album 4, are out now. You can stream Death Album 4 in its full blow and catch Army of the Doomstar on Blu ray. So, okay, so straight to Blu ray. Better yet, an additional soundtrack for Army of the Doomstar, separate from Death Album, is out on August 25. Okay, Metalocalypse Army of the Doomstar features an insane cast, including Tommy Blacka, Victor Brandt, King Diamond, Mark Hamill, Kirk Hammett. Scott Ian, Amy Lee, Malcolm McDowell, uh, Livia Sida. And uh, the synopsis of Metalocalypse Army of the Doomstar is The all new animated movie begins after the heroic rescue of Toki. Death Clock, Frontman Nathan Explosion finds himself traumatized in a brutal professional romantic flat spin, all while he's tasked with fulfilling the prophecy and confronting the ultimate songwriting challenge to save the planet. Can Nathan Explosion look beyond his brutally damaged ego to save his band, stop the Metalocalypse, and finally face the ultimate evil? Salatia? Okay. Then Brendan Small is going uh, uh, on a tour together with Baby Mel uh, in the US. So that's pretty cool. Now, I have to confess. You know, I said I promised I will watch uh, an episode of Metalocalypse. You know, a couple of, uh, like a month or two back. I still haven't been able to do it. I'm just terribly sorry. There's not a streaming platform available to me where I can watch this. And, you know, I'm not gonna bother, you know, getting something illegally. So I'm thinking, like... Is it fate that I'm not supposed to watch Metalocalypse or something? I don't know. If Metalocalypse come to me, then I will watch it. If it's not, maybe it's fate. I don't know. I really enjoy the music, so I, I, I imagine that I will love it whenever it comes to me, okay? You know, it's not very common that people make covers of uh, my music. Probably because my uh, my music is shit. Anyways, there's these uh, three lovely ladies that made uh, a cappella cover of uh, a vi violence section in uh, Space Invaders, one of my songs from my solo albums. And it sounds like this, listen. It's funny, they look like birds. <laughs> no, I was singing that, but that is so cool. It's just really cool to hear something different than, uh, than people doing covers on guitars and drums and bass. Uh, you know, it's really cool, actually. It made me really happy. Space Invaders is basically just a song, uh, like a, a, a chill down song in between the, the regular songs. And these are actually real violence that I, uh, you know, outsourced. I arranged like synth uh, violence and then I found someone on uh, Fiverr to record the real violence for, uh, violence, violence for me. Which is really cool. Alright, all right, let's go back. I want to listen to it again. People have already left. Great. Oh, that's cool. I appreciate that. Feresa. Teresa Pia Tobi. Well, awesome. I love that. Then news. Who's up there? You won't escape that way. Ah, hey, what's up, everyone? Fuck. Fuck. I'm on my way to Who's Corner. Who, who, who's Corner? No, I'm going out of town to go watch Arch Enemy Soil Work and Based, man. They're playing in Who's Corner. And uh, I got a video pass for Arch Enemy, so I'm gonna go there and film my slow motion filming nonsense. Dude, I'm also just real looking forward to going to see a show, actually. Fucking Soil Work. Arch Enemy, obviously, but also Based. Based, man. I love Based. It's a three and a half hour drive. From where I live, uh, didn't bring anyone with me, but that's okay. I have my Fermos of coffee and you know some good Discord member company, man. That's all I need. Top ten time. All right, I'm out here walking. Uh, I hear some noise. 
and I guess that's where I'm gonna go. I wonder, I might actually have played this venue here in his corner, opening up for Meshuggah back in like 2010 or something. It's the morning after. I took a small little hotel. <laughs> the drive home is uh, three and a half hours and I just, you know, doing that in the middle of the night. No. So uh, the show yesterday was freaking great. Holy frick, man. I got to hang a little bit with uh, Jeff, uh, the, the guys in Arch Enemy and all, also the other bands, obviously, as well. Soilwork and Based, 
uh, talk to them for a while, but most importantly, I got to shoot them with my camera. Uh, yeah, turned up pretty sick. I want to thank uh, Michael for setting this up for me. I really, really appreciate it. I'm really, I'm really into making these slow motion videos now. So uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm into it, man. Hopefully, I get to do more. So far, I've done for Dream Fitter, Meshuga, and uh, In Flames, and uh, I wish to do more, man. This is, I think it's a lot of fun. So there you go, a little adventures with Ola. Mwah. Ah! How cool was that? Arch enemy, man. Soil work and, of course, based. Incredible. And uh, I'm really, really enjoying making these uh, live, you know, slow motion videos. And I hope to make more of them, really. Uh, I love it. Please, bands, call me. Bef uh, before I uh, have this uh, uh, son with Ola. I, uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, we talked about my energy earlier in this, in this swole land, you know, being back to work full time. <laughs> feels good, man, feels good. But as I've, uh, you know, it's time now to start the uh, Sun of Ola Rift Challenge uh, live stream again. So that's happening tomorrow. Uh, but I've been further thinking a little bit more about what to offer to my YouTube members. For instance, if you had no idea, I have a YouTube membership. Uh, there's a bunch of people on there and right now basically what you get is your green name uh you know in the uh, in the live streams and the premieres and all that and you get the access to my discord and you know if you're into voice chatting with people and me because i'm in there every day that's it's a great community other than that i'm not really offering that much you get the member slot for this whole lot of live streams of course but uh i'm also starting something new where i'm gonna listen to uh, member music basically and this is gonna happen on the second channel my old england channel number two where you know my members can post their music in the discord and i uh, sit and analyze it and i listen to it and give my uh, my opinions basically and maybe a little bit of, of a device that's something new that uh, i'm gonna offer to my members but also i'm gonna switch it up a little bit with the sun with all our if uh, challenge live streams before the summer they were happening at two o'clock central european time i'm gonna change the time now to later in the day on mondays so more americans and canadians can, or and south america and central america can watch uh you know without having to go up at like uh, 6 a.m in the morning so stay tuned tomorrow on my main channel the live stream will happen but you won't be able to watch it afterwards it's only going to be live so you better tune in if you want to be on in on it it's not going to be available afterwards okay so i'll see you there and also i'm thinking about other things to be able to offer to my uh, beautiful beautiful youtube members that uh, i haven't done in a while so uh, a lot of excitement man and i'm feeling stoked and pumped about uh yeah about all of this i'm i'm extremely psyched about this autumn basically and all the work that i uh, that I can finally do. Like yesterday, I recorded two videos. Uh, you know, testing stuff. I haven't done that for the whole summer. So it felt really good to do that. Really looking forward to the rest of this year. And uh, holy shit. If you want to become a member, you can click the join button down below. And uh, there's uh, different uh, levels, basically, of what you can do. I don't really talk that much about the YouTube membership because uh, I haven't really offered that much. Uh, I did in the beginning, you have all the presets and all the impulse responses and all that. You get a little discounts and shit like that. But other than that, I really haven't felt uh, comfortable in promoting the membership uh, section on my YouTube channel. If you want to get a little bit behind the scenes and the member weekly updates and all that, that's a good chance to get some more out of me. But uh, I doubt you want that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That was Sunday with Ola. 151 for you right there. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember tomorrow, the live stream on my main channel. I'm not sure exactly what time, but it will probably be like 5 or 6 Central European time. So if you're in like in New York, maybe 11 a.m. or, uh, you know, 12 in the midday or something like that. Awesome. I'll see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Put a thumbs up. It helps with the engagement as well as commenting on this uh, you know, video as well. So thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Goodbye.